dear students welcome to the session of remote sensing and gis so in the previous session we have discussed about the energy interaction with the earth surface right now let's discuss that what is the important process of energy interaction with the earth surface and how is energy radiated and what can be done and how is the analysis can be possible let's discuss that in detail and let us see that how is energy captured by the indian satellites what are the history of indian satellites now there is a very important process need to be studied in the energy interaction with earth surface the very first is known as specular reflection and second is known as diffuse reflection this two again you might have heard the name but let's discuss that in detail that what do you mean by specular reflection and diffuse reflection specular reflection gives mirror like reflection of light from the surface single incoming to single outgoing a very simple sense right the rays which are coming up is again going back in the same direction in the single coming in the single outgoing is known as specular reflection means you can always note it that when there is a specular reflection the surface is always smooth the surface is always even then only specular reflection is possible now let's see what is diffuse reflection in diffuse re reflection you can see here light from a surface such that incident ray is reflected at many angles look at the example student what i have shown here into it there is one surface that is a pavement you can see the single light is coming and the single ray is outgoing in the same sense to the vice versa you can see i have shown here the diffuse reflection of a tree that is of a christmas tree if i can give you here an example the incidence rays are at the different point and the rays going back at the different path so which is known as diffuse reflection so this is how energy is captured and with this process of energy only we can identify that how is the surface of the object right so this is how it is possible which is known as specular reflection and diffuse reflection now i guess you are cleared with that how is the surface seen can be adopted with this theory of how is reflection done of the energy waves right according to the wavelength how it is traveling now let us discuss in detail for the data acquisition and recording what is data acquisition and recording let me tell you some of the history towards that that data acquisition and recording was very important the major vision is by whom the father of the space is whom dr vikram saravai now he thought of this process yes we have already discussed it he, he thought of this process that if possible i can capture the data with the sensors that are man made and i can give that sensor go to the space and whole earth can be captured this vision has specially helped us in the defense section a lot to monitor any section it is very important because what was the prime definition of fundamental of remote sensing just without coming into the physical contact of it you can get the accurate information of that thing which is known as remote sensing actually right remote sensing you can see here the image which i have shown that how is sensor revolving around the earth surface and capturing the energy as sensor revolves it captures the energy right this is how is data acquisition possible in a technical sense also we are going to see that how is data recorded data acquisition and recording is very important part right data acquired is different medium by various cameras and sensors right so there were various cameras and sensor now if you have heard various numbers of indian remote sensing satellite that is irs1 indian remote sensing satellite 1a 1b 1c aryabhatta saral resat kalpana insat these are the satellites which are been developed by the indian scientists and we have worked on it to capture the images of what earth but with reference to earth we want to capture all the features that are there on the earth surface because after getting success to capture the features of earth surface 
then only we tried it for the other what other continent other countries right because you all know that now we are working on the planet of mars we might work in the near future for the jupiter but how it is possible if success is there for the earth surface then only we can ultimate apply such a huge amount of money to have and capture the images of mars yes we are succeeding the mars we have even taken the images of moon yes we will be towards that now next missions we are going to see of how we can take images from the jupiter planet in the very few near future or the uh, late time of 20s right you can even know that with that we have even tried with the airborne platforms right now right this is the advancement in this field actually so basically various indian international satellites are used for gathering the data of earth various indian satellites are with specification data is captured in multi spectral and panchromatic so now let's discuss multi spectral and panchromatic i guess you are a bit clear about it but let me tell you in detail again you all know that multi spectral means what numbers of various various spectrum that is known as multi spectral right we have learned about electromagnetic spectrum that is what visible ray near infrared long wave short wave that is known as multi spectral various various spectrum various various wavelength various various data can be captured from various spectrum and what is panchromatic panchromatic means single band we will be getting the black and white image so i would like to tell you here a very common example of black and white image which is known as panchromatic so before a uh, many years ago for even from our physical camera we used to capture the image that comes with a black and white image means we didn't have the recognition of the colors in our sensor even our camera is one type of sensor even your mobile camera is one type of sensor now look at the very right top most of yourself you can see there is one sensor which is made which is known as alavita this was the first satellite sensor which was made by us to capture the images of earth right similarly you can see here i have shown here look at to the left side down side of your cell you can see that how is process how is data capture right you can see when the wings are open it will start capturing the data means when sensor goes to the orbit it will fall under the orbit where it is decided it will start revolving around the earth surface and it will capture the energies so radiations are coming from that sensor to the earth again going back to the sensor and that sensor is storing the energy which is known as data acquisition and recording now students i would like to make you here clear that we are we are having lots of satellites that is indian satellites and you have seen here i have shown here the names of it that is irs 1a 1b 1c cartosat right resosat this satellites we have decided for the different different features right it is not just that one satellite is going up and capturing the whole earth no it is not like that one satellite is for the specific feature only if i am telling that for example irs 1a so it is just a random satellite that we are going to identify is this sensor is capable of taking the images of only vegetation next we have tried that is this sensor is capable and give us the accurate information of only the water bodies this is how we have dealt with the sensors camera making and this is how we have succeeded and now we have multi spectral cameras so when you are sending one sensor to orbit all the features can be captured from it right so data is are right now also available we can work on it we can download we can extract the features but for you it is difficult to understand even right now at this position what is the feature but understand student if you understand this how is data acquisition and recording then only you will able to know that how we can process the data what is the correctness of data what is the accuracy of data then only you can make it out from it now i would like to give you here an example that you might not have seen the sensors other than the photograph right yes that is very true but when you see a sensor sensor has a various characteristics before sending it to the orbit we have decided we have made our frequency in such a you understand the frequency i am using here word the frequency the wavelength right so how i want to capture the image 
according to that i'm going to set the feature now you might have a question that if cloud comes or immediate anyway weather changes and rain falls then what happened to the data acquisition yes the very old our sensors were not capable to take the images very clear images for the rainfall so our data were not accurate during the time of cloud season that during the time of winter or sorry during the time of monsoon it happens sometimes that energy does not travel properly to the one medium to other medium and we cannot acquire the data properly so it might happens in some cases but the sensors which we are making right now are capable of working day and night and we don't have a problem of monsoon season also right so every season we need to capture the data of every feature natural feature we have to right now we are even capturing the data of you all know that even the hourly data even the monthly data that is a temporal data right we are going to see that what is data what are the types of data what are the resolutions of data which we are capturing why we are doing it now this is how we are with the different different bands we are acquiring the data so when we do a research or when we do an analysis or when we need to find any output from the data which we have captured we are going to work on specific band right band means multi spectral i have a band of soil i have a band of water i have a band of vegetation i have a band of urban region so that is known as multi spectral one sensor will capture this many features but after capturing the data after recording the data i need to check that that wavelength or band has particularly useful for vegetation is useful for uh, soil is useful for water or not because that is very important to identify the features very accurately then only our this science is useful otherwise it is not viable to use these technologies right so this is how you can move further so this is about the data acquisition and recording process so i guess you are clear with the process of diffusion and speckle reflection and you are clear with the uh, reference of the data acquisition and recording we are going to see that how is the data captured in the indian satellites also i have given all the names of the indian satellites thank you